Last question. Would you leave your boyfriend right now for Ryan Williams? No. <laughs> but I'll cheat on him. It's an evil world we live in. Women don't fall in love with you. They fall in love with the dream of marriage and what you can provide. Women marry a lifestyle, not the man. One time, a guy looked me directly in the eyes and said, I could never date you. I didn't ask, nor was it the least bit relevant. <laughs> I've thought about him every day since. Rejected. Yeah. I like nice guys. Yeah. What about your exes? Were they assholes? No, they're both nice. So why'd you break up with them? Congratulations. You played yourself. That's a good question. Wait. <laughs> How'd you know I broke up with them? <laughs> oh. Because I know. Well. Am I going to die alone? No. Okay. Am I going to get married? <laughs> Am I going to go on a date next week? Close. Am I going to go on a date in a year? Am I really gonna die alone? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Why don't guys approach girls anymore? I because all men. Because every day we wake up and we are constantly reminded that we are the, we are the perpetrators, we are the bad guys. We're tired of your bad attitudes. We're tired of your entitled attitude. The biggest misconception men have about women. You think we don't want to be approached. So do you like it when guys approach you on the street? No. 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 <laughs> Why not? Um, usually I get a little scared. Yeah, I feel like it's usually like with bad intentions. Yeah. yeah. I'm like on my own vibe. Like I'm like, I don't want anyone messing with it. And even if you were to come up and talk to me after that, like, I would be really rude. But then once you leave, get so excited. But that's just my way of like interacting. What? And this guy comes up to me and he goes, hey, I have a question. You seem like, like the perfect person to ask. And I was like, okay. Why do men think they have the right to just come up and talk to you? How many girls want the cat call to come back where guys just hit on you outside somewhere like in the grocery store? But for some reason, human beings stopped. And I'll tell you right now, the feminine women really love the cat call. I'm scared. No, nope. you definitely should not be. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! Stop it, okay? Enough! You stupid pieces of sh- What's the lowest amount of money a guy should spend on a wedding ring for you? Oh, it should be like for sure 30, 40 K. Yeah. We have standards here. Yeah, that's the standard? Would you be? Would you have been a little upset if it was 10k? Yeah, probably. You have a boyfriend? I do. Yes. Do you think it's possible to have guy friends when you're in a relationship? I think it's possible. Yes. Stop the cap. <laughs> do you make guys that you think are boyfriend material wait for sex? Um, honestly, yes, but not because I don't think that they're good enough. It's because I want to show them that I'm serious about them. Okay. If I'm not serious about you, then like. I might just like you whenever, but like if I'm really serious about you, I'm gonna wait. What? What's the craziest thing you did this year? Craziest thing I did this year? Or the nastiest? I think the nastiest thing I did this year is f oh, my, my chef God. at my restaurant. She belongs to the streets. He has a wife and three kids. Hey, will you go out with me? You're really cute. Hey? Yeah. He has a boyfriend. No, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Are you kidding me? Pull over here. Pull over on this side. Okay. Okay, what? thanks. Bye. China, if a woman is over 30 years old and she is not married, she will be called sheng nu. Sheng nu. Sheng nu. Which means left over woman. Men don't want to marry anymore because the risk outweighs the benefits. There's a risk that comes with marriage that essentially only benefits a woman. A man marries you and can only hope that one day you don't wake up and say, I feel like I don't love you anymore and I want to leave and you can't do anything about it. According to ASA, 70 to 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women. Among college educated women, it jumps to 90 percent. You know what's crazy? I mean, a lot of us women don't have anything a man actually wants that we can bring to the table. Excuse me, what Uber is this? This Uber's for the dumb bitches that keep going back to that one ex that fucks up every time. Oh, that's me! <laughs>
Um, All these women now act like it's so cool to be a whore. Everybody just wants to be a whore now. Yeah, well, it's very popular. It was like pushed on us. I, see, this is the conversation that I've been don't having blame, with my don't friends. Don't blame other people for you being a whore. Nobody pushed you, uh, no. any woman into being a whore. There's this whole like narrative with guys where it's just like, y'all just are out here doing what the ever. And mm. then we got all these rappers rapping about it. True. Now we got the girl rappers talking about we don't need it. And we're all singing it. True. So now our brain thinks that this is what's going on. Tell me, guys, if the girl in the middle is supposed to be at this game. Do you think that women tend to lust after bad boys but want to settle down with nice guys? Oh, we sure do. I love a bad boy. Exactly. What's attractive about a bad boy? They just have that quality that just is so attractive. You know? How do bad boys treat women? Horrible. So then what? why would you want to be with a bad boy when they treat you badly? Because they do other things that the good ones don't. Like what? I don't want to go there. <laughs> we know. We know. How is it sexism when we have no barriers today? So we can we can Who pick what no we want. Who doesn't have barriers? Women don't don't have barriers. I'm, women, yeah. What, what's we have no. You? you can do whatever you want. Uh, I can you? or you can. What's stopping you? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do when you party? Have fun. Use men for shots. You hold on, hold on. She said she's gonna use men for shots. That was, I said, no, 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 I'm not saying right now. I'm saying during Hawko Summer, you yeah, use men for it's shots. Not Hawko Do not buy these girls drinks. Do not buy any girls drinks. These city girl shit Why? has to stop. Do not fall for this. City girl shit. Men, explain what men are the ones who are giving in. I know, they're I fucking know losers. Are. These guys are you fucking losers. Can you explain what yeah. city boy shit is? These guys are fucking losers who are buying you drinks. Explain what city no, boy not. shit is. They're attracted to us and they're giving us drinks. Okay, so what are they getting from it? Nothing! Nothing! nothing. You just nothing. said it, they're getting fucking nothing. Alexa, remind me that I don't need a man and men are useless. When should I remind you? Every damn day. How it works is it is boundaries. My girl understands that she could she can go hang out with guys. There's a boundary though. She wants to go hang out with guy friends. The relationship's over immediately. That's all it's it not is. A boundary. Yes, That's it is. That is boundary. a boundary. A if you if you cross this line, it, it, yes, that is a boundary. If boundary. she wants to go to the club, that is a boundary. You, know you want to go to the club? That's a boundary. He said. Yes, so like, that is a so boundary. If you cross this boundary, the relationship is over. That's in, all it is. In, Honey, you're oh, broke. Oh, you don't buy a house when you're broke. You are broke and in debt. You make $35,000 a year and have a three-year-old and you're 24 years old. You don't go buy a house right now. This house will be a curse to you. I had a man say to me once that the reason that he likes dating younger women is because they're not so angry. I literally was like, I like younger women because they're still so sweet. Nobody likes an angry woman, right? It's okay to be a little angry, though. If you could say something to your ex right now, what would it be? Oh. Um, I hope you're good. He was like, he was amazing, actually. He was an amazing guy. He was amazing? Yeah. Then why you lost feelings? I'm amazing. He just, he, just, he just wasn't it for me, but he's a really good guy. Amazing guy. What can men do to avoid a situation like that? They're an amazing guy. Really they do everything right. You can do. Like, it's just like your feelings. Like, there's absolutely nothing. Yo, killing me with this he can treat you like a queen and be the best guy ever, but like, you just, I don't know. You, you can't do nothing? It's nothing, yeah. I think you're cute. Can I get your number? No, thank I have you. a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I actually asked her, but... Rejected. Have you ever tried anal? Oh my god, that's so wild. I just that. Okay. It's the wildest. Anal? You know? Have you ever tried it? Oh, I can't be answering these questions on camera. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Why not? Okay, yes, I have. And do you like it? Yes. Really? Yes. Was that so hard? When was the last time you got it? Um, like maybe a year ago. What? You've been long overdue. Yes, overdue. Oh, she's trying to live this. <laughs> things you see in Atlanta, bro. <laughs> I went to college. I was like, I need to go balls to the walls and all these men. But um, <laughs> you know, it did get a little messy because guys would get mad at me, being like, "Why did you hook up with my friends?" And I was like, "Well, you didn't respond, and your friend was here." Um, but I was like, kind of toxic when I was. Toxic or boring relationship? Toxic. Toxic. Oh, toxic. Definitely. No. It just makes it more fun. It just makes it more fun. It's more fun. That's enough internet for me today. Would it be my preference if a girl just didn't even have social media problems? Yeah. This is giving red flag. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Here's the interesting thing is that men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. 
nobody bats an eye when the woman says, I want X, Y, Z in a partner. But the moment the guy says, here are my boundaries, preferences, and standards, oh, misogyny, red flag. Da, 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 this, that. And the fact of the matter is, women are more picky than men are. Women have far more standards for men than do men have standards for women. But if a guy says, I want X, Y, Z, insecure, misogyny, blah, 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 it's always gonna be met with some sort of shaming language, but go ahead. There were men that I literally knew I had no future with this person. They were placeholders. And I would tell them anything, yes, placeholders. <laughs> and I would tell them anything to like reel them in to get them to think that I like them or care for them more than I actually did because it was like an ego boost to have a guy fiend for you. How much do you guys make on the um, It really fluctuates sometimes. It depends on how much you actually promote yourself. So it can, for me, it goes between like probably six and 15K a month. Between all of us, we make anywhere from about like 15 to 110K a month. I make a roughly 10 to 15,000. I make 80K. A month? Wow. <laughs> Come on now, dog. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. How many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Come here. Well, hey, what we y'all rate these models right here? She a seven. Oh, man. I like a A seven? Yeah. If you got bigger I'd have given you like a ten. I ain't gonna lie to you. Rejected. Hey, it, it was nice to meet you, bro. You too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching all this red pill You hear these statistics, right? Gay marriage, two men getting married, divorce rate, 26%. Male-female marriage, 50%. Lesbian woman to woman marriage, divorce like rate, 76%. Wow. Well, that's what it is, man. You get two crazies together. That's some weird, ma I mean, what do you think? Like, if you looked at the math, do you think women are the problem? I mean, I don't know. Are they? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? You know I'm non-traditional. So I don't feel like I have to cook for you. For what? Cook for your damn self. You so got you feet, right? So you don't feel like you... And you know my mom man. can't stand when I used to date. Kenny mom can't stand when I didn't fix his plate. He got legs and feet. Get your ass up and fix so your you, own plate. So you That's so bad, but I don't care. You know so, I'm just... You know I'm so non-traditional, though. It's so like... I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, it's I'm just, just a very not... Very it's, traditional it's person. Too, not, to it's too traditional for me. If I'm cooking... I will make your plate. Like, you don't got to get up and go make your plate. I'm but I feel like plate. you got hands, right? He got feet, right? So yeah, get but that's your, your man. And that's understandable. Completely understandable. That's but your man. get up and fix your own plate. Like, what? I fucking hate being ugly. I hate it so much. Oh, my God. It's like... It's like being... I don't know. It's like being smelly or something. People treat you weirdly and you just don't know why until one day someone tells you you fucking smell or you're fucking ugly and then it all comes together. You're like, oh, you're right. I am ugly. Oh, how could I have missed this? This summer I was hooking up with like four people a day, a couple times a week, and they were all like different people. The problem with winter is that I can't do that as much. I'm trying to focus on school and hooking up with people takes a lot of time, but I definitely miss it. She belongs to the streets. Protect feminism or low gas prices? Um, I guess low gas prices because ever since the feminist movement, it's been a lot harder for me to find a guy to pay my bills. And all of a sudden I have to work and I have to do all these things. And I honestly don't want to work. I would rather stay in the kitchen. Mind you, I need some cooking classes, but I think I could take a couple cooking classes and make somebody really happy. What's your biggest regret? My biggest regret? Yeah. Everything before this day. What you mean before this day? What you got going on? My life has been so downhill. 
you this though. You definitely had a one night stand before, right? Twice. Okay, twice. So why are you making this guy pay full price and wait when those other guys didn't have to? Um. Gotcha, bitch. Does body count matter? Mm. <laughs> no. I guess not. I don't what, know. So what do you consider high? Mm, over ten. Okay. I'm not, so... I'm you're, not, you're not... You're under 10? No. Oh, you're over 10? No. No. So, your body count's non-existent? Yes. She belongs to the streets. Layla, what's your best pickup line? Hi, my name is Layla. Smile, that's my pickup line. I don't really need to do too much. Really? Um... Yeah, no. Nah. Such a woman. We're gonna put that to the test today, though. Alright, bet. Here, take the mic. Hi. Yo. So let's say you're moving me, right? How would you move me? Huh? How would you move to me? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You, I'm not attractive to you. Am I not attractive to you? No. Wait, wait, sorry. I, that's rude. Sorry. Rejected. Are you single? No. Is that your girlfriend right there? Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can go. You can go. Yeah, would you stop with the f you gotta break my balls, Jackie. I'm standing here. You don't want anything. Get the hell out of here. Go wait in the car. Yes. Girls that have lots of sexual partners before 21 are like 14 times more likely to get divorced because they just oh. don't know how to be sexually exclusive. They, they don't. They're not trained for it. Mm. They don't know how to be uh, non-promiscuous. I saw this on Hinge. What percentage yeah, a, of men do you think have yachts? Oh, mm, like, I don't know, like... Yo, killing me with this Yeah, pretty low, maybe 9%. 9% of men have On yachts. On Hinge? You think 9% of men have yachts? Is that... Do you expect me to pay every time we go out to eat? I mean... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I expect you to cook whenever I want you to cook. Damn! <laughs> the fuck? Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Like, no, so like... that's too much? That, so it's, it's not too much when it benefits you. Right. Um, I just, I just use my other hand, so. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What is the sluttiest thing you've ever done? Um, had, um, had sex with my boyfriend's best friend. So you cheated on your boyfriend? Yeah, now my ex, but yeah. Did he find out? No. So I realized some of the mistakes that I made in my early 20s. So I had met a few good guys that actually wanted to date me. And I was like, mm, no, like he's corny. Like, no, he ain't got no swag. He ain't got that umph that I'm looking for. Like, nah, not my type. Sorry. No, thank you. Not interested. So I went after what I thought was my type. You know, the guy with the little edge. You know, bad boy, got a little side to him, you know, tattoos and all of that good stuff. The interesting, mysterious guy. And I told y'all a lot about my toxic relationship. And man, after I went and took my ass over to where I thought the grass was greener on the other side, only thing that was on that side was trauma, mental abuse, and boy, did I get dragged through the mud. What's your body count? Uh, probably like 56. Really? Yeah. Damn, girl. Is that bad? I mean, do you think it's bad? I've heard of worse. That's enough internet for me today. It's a hot girl summer. My boyfriend just broke, we just broke up like three weeks ago. So you've been running up the scoreboard. Hell yeah. How many points have you added to the scoreboard? Too many. There's no limits to it, bruh. I can help you over there. Okay, bet. You want my number? Yeah. I'll give you my number. Come on, man. That's too easy. Why do you think men should pay for the first date? Because that's their job. If that's their job, then what's your job? To get free food. I take birth control for him so he can hit it raw and he can't even invite me to the bar? <laughs> Damn. How Come many on. guys, though? How many are we talking? In general? Oh, at, uh, it was like five. Is that a gangbang? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that a gang. Five, 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 five dudes is a gang. I enjoy I would say I enjoyed it fully. Oh, I think three of course you gang. enjoyed it. Three? Come on, man. Stay in your daughter's life, bro. This is, this ain't it, bro.
this ain't never gonna be it. Some things that girls say to reject guys. Uh, yeah, for sure we should hang out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we should do that another time. Yeah. That'd be so much fun. This would be better off as friends. Oh, that's the best one. Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern-day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control, and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled. It's the craziest thing you did for money. Uh, I guess like six girls in a row for like a hundred bucks. What have you learned from your marriage and your previous relationship that you think you like have have looked out for? I don't really like alpha males. So the men that are like full of testosterone and manly men, and et cetera, et cetera. I don't like them. They're very aggressive. But and... were you, do you think you were into that when you were younger? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was so fucking hot. And now, like, I see them just like, ew. <laughs> Bro, being a single mom is literally the hardest shit ever. Like, you cannot do anything. <sighs> Guy gives you an engagement ring, and he calls off the engagement. Should you give the ring back? No, hell no. It's my ring. Okay, so why is it if a man withdraws consent to an engagement, he loses the ring? I mean, I don't think women are objects like rings are. I wouldn't say he loses the ring, but you lost the value of that woman. Okay. If marriage is supposed to be an equal partnership, why does a woman get an expensive engagement ring, but a man doesn't? Break me on a scale of one to ten. Oh my god, okay, honestly? Honestly. I'd make out with you right now, and I'm a lesbian. You will. I would actually, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and? No, that was it. I'm just saying I would make out with him right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was going to happen. Oh, did you? This guy stinks! I mean, yeah. That's why I took the mic. Oh, damn. I didn't, I didn't. They didn't get the kill. They did. Uh, Hi. Hi. Rejected.